uh, and come one, come all As these sisters show you some people that's grinding and standing tall Highlighting the struggle as you waiting patient just to make it Debating your body aching, you're pacing for it to bubble We all, we all, we all a village so it's time to huddle We gotta come together and power us through the hustle Yeah, and together we fall So I'ma hold my brother and my sister up while we all on the come up Why we all on the come up? Why we all on the come up? Yo, mic check one, two, one, two. Hey, what it do, y'all? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of On the Come Up. Yo. Today's episode, Achilles our guest, two excited. revolutionary artists, yo. He's from Pasadena, California. Dang. That's close. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he started off crumping on one of Chris Brown's first tours. Sea like, he a, he a OG. Like, sea breezy. Sea breezy. Mm-hmm. This led him to find a passion in producing, which he is phenomenal at. Which then inspired him to become the amazing artist he is today. That's so dope. His spirituality mixed with his love for music, produces a sound that's going to change my world. I mean, it changed my world. I mean, already. like, it's, worldwide. It's, it's crazy. Worldwide. It's crazy. You see him here first. Three reasons why he is on The Come, Come Up. One, he's an artist. Mm. Mm. He's a dancer. What else? He's a producer. Come on. He's an engineer. Yeah. Like, went to school for it and everything. Like, oh, so he official. He official. Man, he's a magician. Nice. Two, he has a publishing deal with Ronda Universal Music Group. Nice, mm. so the boy can write. He His own rhyme. Nice, he knows nice. He knows no ghost good. writing over no, here. No, no oh, ghost writing. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> then three, he got lots of music coming out. One song in particular is featuring the Grammy nominated who? who? Molly Music! Oh, but featuring Molly. Featuring That's the Molly, thing. y'all. Not- Without further ado, though, let's give it up for. I just woke up, but y'all energy got me popping. Right <laughs> what? I see you grooving in your seat. I'm on the couch. I'm on the come up couch. Now listen, I see you got the moves as soon right. as we, you know, we you turn know on the saying? cameras. We actually, bit. if you can put your attention over here, oh, okay, we actually okay. got some, um, we found some moves that, um, that you're pretty much an expert in. <laughs> um, I don't know if you're familiar with this video. Um, what's the name of it? Um, Chris Brown. Chris give me that. Give me that. Give me that. You were in that video, right? Was he? I think you were catching coins. Was he? Catching coins? Let's, let's, let's pull it. Take a no, 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 hold on before you play. Oh, oh. See, I'm gonna give you the backstory. Yes, let's okay. hear it. Because they were shooting a video and I was really trying to catch the train. So I was really out here asking for money. And Chris was like, yo, you look real bummy. I'm gonna I'm a put you in. Nah, no, I'm messing with you. Ah! Yeah, tuned in. <laughs> I was like, I was like, this. I knew what it was. It was tuned in. <laughs> she had an attitude. This is too. dope. I mean, you were definitely doing your thing. How old were you when you were doing this video? I was 17. Wow. 17 I was a years baby. old. And uh, you're pretty short here. How tall were you then I'm as opposed to now? I was 6'4 then. You were 6'4? You four. are no, not 6'4 in that video. I was 6'4. Wow, you definitely look like kid. a shrimp. You look like <laughs> it's, it's I got no weight on. Now that one move where you popped your suspenders mm-hmm. was that comeback? Did you regret that afterward? Um, I did. I did. <laughs> bruises? I did. Were you bruised? No bruises, but it stung. Mm. You know when mom pop you with like a spoon or something. Mm-hmm. No bruise, but it sting. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like one of those moments. Yeah. Wow, well, this is such an incredible thing. We found that video. We were like, yo, we can't believe that that's had to, pretty. Had to catch you one time. That's, that's where you started. That's, that's, where that's you started. the foundation, that's right? That's definitely where I started. So <laughs> like, we're going to hop right into a door it. Opening. Yeah, absolutely. And door opening doors. When did you fall in love with hip hop? When did Man. that door open? Like, well, you know, we, we chop it up all the time. Y'all like my sister, so, you know, we're going to keep it family. <laughs> and I was, like, basically born into hip hop. Like, my dad always played Biggie, my mom. She, she loved hip-hop growing up. 
Um, but especially my older brother, B. Shaw. B. Shaw, he loved like uh, Outkast, um, Busta Rhymes, all Busta. type of artists. Um, Stank On You was the first album I heard. Um, I was younger, trying to sneak around listening to Eminem because it was too grimy at the time. Um, DMX, it, it just nice. goes on. Yeah. But then I, I started studying hip hop not too long ago though. So I started studying hip hop probably like 2008, 2009 when I got signed to Bad Boy. So that was when I was like, okay, let me go back and study the things I grew up on. And, reali and really realizing that when I would write a rhyme, that it was already instilled in me because I was already listening to hip hop so much mm -hmm. that you don't even realize that you really just downloading it as it, as you go along. Like when y'all play around in freestyle, y'all got cadences, but where'd y'all get it from? Because right. y'all right. always heard hip hop. Right. But right. when you study it, you be like, oh snap! Like then you really start falling in love. You know, love it evolves, so you gradually right. fall in love deeper and deeper Absolutely. with it. Absolutely, so. yeah. Now, we'll yeah. go ahead and jump into the next part. Uh, we like to refer to this segment as the mm-hmm moment of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, during this time, we're going to ask you a general question, and then you're going to respond with a level of mm-hmm. <laughs> Example. <laughs> Let's see. Kanye West jumped into a lake in Armenia. Mm-hmm. In other news... Why is that a mm-hmm like that, though? Cause why would you jump in the lake? Was he performing or was he just? He was. It was he like had a on a wing. Microphone in his hand. It was like on a wing, and it wasn't even like a. It was like a little. It was, was a lake. lake. I don't know. That might be like. Well, my mm -hmm was more like a mm, like are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> my mm -hmm was like a. Uh, Nah. Mm -hmm. It might be something you never know. You might be on stage and have to really get the crowd so going with you. So if you outside and you just feel like you just gonna jump in a puddle this high. Take that. <laughs> if the crowd jump in with you, you gotta go. Okay, the, crowd so the other example. See that? You the see opposite that? end you of the that? the opposite end of I the other end of the spectrum man's Kanye, is man. uh let's see, it looks like Tyler Perry's about to create a, a new movie. Mm. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I'm gonna ask you a question. Mixed reviews on that as well. So yeah. see that? That's yeah. why you just mm. uh -huh, okay. So you have to respond with your level of mm -hmm. Okay. So, our mm -hmm question for you is, do you have a girlfriend? Mm, yep. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> I did it. Come on! Mm -hmm. yeah, I did it. I did it. Can we, just, gotta, can we, can we I gotta give us a level? Give us a level. I got to drag it out like y'all. No, yeah, you know, no. you got to drag it out, but give like, give us a level. Like, don't hit us mm -hmm. like somebody, what you want, number six? Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Salesman. I said, mm, yeah. Uh, movie. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the more you know. The you more you know. You see that? You know. That's why we fam, because we can do that. Watch out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just to mm -hmm. let y'all know, this is my baby right here, so it don't even matter. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Back on track, y'all. <laughs> Back on track. <laughs> Alright, uh, <laughs> next question, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm cool. What, what you do you feel kinda... like you can bring back to hip hop that might be missing today? One, the passion. Like, not saying that other artists don't have the passion, but just uh, transparency and vulnerability is what hip hop used to have. And character. A lot of artists that we liked had their own character. It wasn't like a replica or like somebody you see and like, oh, that sound like him, that sound like him, that sound. Because people say I sound like many of people, but when you see me on stage, you can see a, a character that I bring to it. And a performance, a performance, a performance like how Big Daddy Kane or like Busta or like Met the Man and Red Man or like DMX will rock a stage. That's what an MC is. Now, when you say hip hop, that's just like, that's just, just the broad scale of it. When you say MC, that's like master of the ceremonies. That's somebody that's rocking the crowd and making the crowd rock with you so when they exactly because they, they used to they used to um, do that for parties. So when I do a performance, I make sure it's a party more than just me performing for them. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen you perform, and man, I'll tell you, this guy is, it gets wild. It gets wild. Check out his stuff. He's sweating. He's sweating. All right. Yo, so, thank you. Thank you so much. Man, thank you. Yes. Thank you. For stopping by and just dropping that knowledge. Yeah. Let the people know where they can find you. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, what websites. Love y'all, man. 
Um, y'all can find me on The Real Britty on Instagram. Nice. Uh, YouTube.com slash Britty007. Um, y'all can find me on the streets of North Hollywood. I only got two social medias, but y'all can definitely see me like all around YouTube. Mm-hmm. All on Instagram. Oh, we deep. love you, man. Let's make a heart. Show we hand it. No, up here. Oh, 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 look at that. It's a heart. Oh, you see it? Oh, there you we see go. It? There we go. It's it's right right right. Right. <laughs> All right, let the people know what show you on. Yep, yep, yep. You watch me, and I'm on the come up. Hey. Oh. Right, y'all, thanks for tuning in to another episode. I'm Quinny. I'm Janine. I'm Michelle. And I'm you pretty. Oh. And we are on the come up. Hold up. Wait a minute. And now for the gem of the day. Today's gem is Most Def. Most Def is from Brooklyn, New York. Rapper slash actor, he has been nominated for Grammys, Golden Globes, as well as Emmys. His intelligence, verbal skills, and conscious sound has built his reputation to being one of the top spokesmen of the hip hop generation. With hit singles like Miss Fat Booty and Mathematics, Most Def continues to inspire artists around the world to be true to self as well as the music they make. Thank you, Most Def, for leading with your heart first. Peace, love, and hit grease. Thanks for tuning in to On On The the Come Up. Up! Is it true that big boys do it better? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know about them, but I know for a fact, you know. <laughs> we want to have a place where the kids can actually come and learn who they are mm-hmm. and learn from them for themselves, not for us telling them. Mm-hmm. And that's the whole premise of our program, you know.